starting today and all the way to August 30th, all single unit homes and the multi-unit homes like row houses that currently receive curbside collection will begin to receive a garbage cart and a food scraps cart. So we're gonna be saying goodbye to that familiar scene of black garbage bags on the curb and really introducing a new system that helps us be more efficient, be more safe, but also be more responsible into the future with the way that we manage our waste. Approximately 19,000 homes have already selected this small garbage cart because they feel that that fits their family's size or the way that they generate waste. The default will be this large garbage cart. So this small garbage cart is going to fit two to three of those traditional big black garbage bags. The larger one is going to be four to six of those traditional black garbage bags. And, you know, one of the things that really matters is just the volume and the weight of that. But it's two to three in the small and four to six in the large. And once residents figure out the cart size that works for them, there will be an opportunity to swap between these two carts. So again, the system is meant to really work for Edmontonians, be a little bit more variable and sensitive to the needs of individual homes as we all embark on this new system together. One of the main strategic goals of Connect Edmonton is climate resilience. This means that Edmonton is transitioning to a low carbon future and adopting, adapting to climate change. One of the ways we can do this is by minimizing greenhouse gas emissions, which is the goal of the cart rollout. The new service will modernize Edmonton's waste management system, help keep utility rates stable, improve collectors' safety, and provide more effective processing. By separating food scraps and keeping them out of the landfill, the city will be able to support more effective waste processing and the steady production of high quality compost. Along with the carts, I mentioned this food scraps pail. That's something that's going to go into the kitchen so that homes can start sorting out their day to day food scraps to be transferred into the cart. We'll also have, of course, a really comprehensive info package. So a welcome brochure, a what goes where poster. One of the things that we really want to point out is the map and calendar that tells residents when to use their cart. So you can see, you can probably imagine, I can't lift these carts. I know I'm not a waste collector, but the average person just simply can't reach that cart, tip it out into a truck. We need to get our automated co tr collection trucks on the road before residents would start using the system. So they're gonna take a look at the sticker on their carts, consult the map, consult the what goes, uh, the collection calendar to make sure that they know when to start using the, start using the new system. And a big takeaway is that this is something that we're doing together to be more responsible. We've talked about the journey to 2 million people in Edmonton. This is a part of being greener as we go and really being responsible with the waste that we generate as we grow.